Hey, T Cozy here. Uh, you're listening to the With Just 15 Defeats show. Uh, on today's show, we're going to have a heavyweight breakdown uh, revolving around the recent heavyweight uh, showdown between Vladimir Klitschko and Tyson Fury. As you'll be aware, Tyson Fury won a unanimous points decision uh, quite unexpected before the fight. Uh, most people, most pundits were advocating uh, a Vladimir Klitschko win, uh, probably on points. Um, and I have to say that prior to the fight, I did actually agree with uh, that sentiment. I felt that Klitschko's experience um, and skills, along with the fact that he was effectively the home fighter, would give him the decision. As we know, there's been so many cricket decisions over the years, particularly in Germany and particularly against uh, British fighters. Um, so I had to, I had to be honest and say that whilst I, I wanted Tyson uh, to pick up the win, I just thought it was stacked against him. It was stacked against him, and maybe it wasn't quite time for him. It wasn't quite time for Vladimir Klitschko to release those belts. Uh, despite the fact that. I've been a big advocate myself for Tyson Fury ever since the uh, uh, McDermott days when he was a bit rough around the edges. Uh, but I always thought that he could fight to instruction and ever since um, he's uh, started fighting under his, his uncle's uh, tutelage, he's drastically improved um, and uh, we're now seeing the fruits of that partnership. So I just thought that we would go through the fight uh, on a round-by-round -round basis. Because to be honest, I, I felt that it was a very close fight. And don't get me wrong, uh, Tyson won the fight, but I thought it was close. I've heard a lot of people say that Tyson and totally schooled him, uh, that uh, Klitschko became old overnight. Um, I don't actually agree with either of those statements. Um, I, I think that Tyson did enough to stop Klitschko and Klitschko just didn't do anything. It's as simple as that. He didn't do enough to win the fight. Um, but as I say, you still kind of felt that he might get the decision, bizarrely. But l looking through the rounds, um, but when I score a fight, I have to be I have to see something that makes me want to give that round to one person or the other. Uh, there has to be serious damage, notable damage, notable shots, um complete domination. I don't I don't like to score for um for throwing punches because anyone can throw punches it means absolutely nothing. Um so, realistically, in this fight, I, when I scored it, um, I scored three, three clear rounds to Tyson and one clear round to Vladimir Klitschko. And the rest of the rounds were, to be perfectly honest, were so close, uh, it could have gone either way. And that's why when the first time I watched the fight, I was um, I was going into the last round expecting... Um, Fury to need a knockout to win it because you just see those rounds when they're so close you just don't know whether they're going to go one way or the other and when they are that close they can easily go to the fire that's perceived to be the home fire which in this case was Vladimir Klitschko so we'll just go through the rounds now and we're going to start with round one uh, and to be honest nothing happened nothing happened for two rounds then there was a clinch and Tyson ended a a really weak nothing hook um and i, I don't know I, I couldn't split the two um on one of the broadcasts that i've watched i've watched uh, both the american and the uk versions um the americans gave the round to vladimir klitschko but i can't see 
really why there was nothing really to suggest that he won that round, but there was nothing to suggest that Tyson did anything in that round. So then we move into the second round, and uh, Fury landed a, a number of good shots in this round. Um, whether they did any damage is questionable, but he landed five or six decent punches. Klitschko threw out a um, f- couple that he landed, and he, he did begin to start pressing, which is something that he did throughout the fight without much action, but he was pressing the action um, in his movements. So anyway, so so that round I actually gave to Fury um, just because he was just so much... He, he landed more in that round, and it was one of his more, more notable rounds uh, throughout the fight. So um, then we um, uh, move into the third round. Uh, Fury started to um, change his movements. He became more looser, more freer. Um, he was doing some crazy movements and, and mad feints and arms behind his back. Uh, a bit of showboating, uh, and he actually threw a lot, but he didn't actually land. And, and to be honest, for two and a half minutes of the round, there's no notable action uh, until Klitschko um, launched forward with an attack, um, which landed in, which ended up in a clinch. And uh, we ended up with um, the, the stats showing that in that round, uh, Tyson landed two punches and Klitschko landed one. Now, how you can score that either way, I, I don't really know. There's just not enough action. Uh, and when we move into the, the f- we start moving into the fourth round, and in the American uh, broadcast, um, Max Kellerman uh, said this um, about Manuel Stewart. That's the kind of fight that the late great Emmanuel Stewart used to lament. Where at the end of the round, one guy lands two punches, the other lands one, and so you give it to the guy who lands two punches. Dreadful offensive output from both guys so far. And I, to- I, I 100% agree, really. When there isn't enough action, how can you possibly, uh, just because of one jab, you, you don't win a you don't win a round with one additional jab. So uh, it's so difficult. So it's just the round three. Um, I can't I can't split them. Moving on to the round floor four. Um, it kind of, as the round progressed, Klitschko landed uh, two kind of power punches, um, and, and Tyson was kind of throwing cuffy and swinging punches um, without really doing any damage. So it's another round. I, I struggle to, to to select someone who actually won that round. There just wasn't enough action, wasn't enough punches landed. So the, the fifth round, this is where we saw the first of the trademark uh, Vladimir Klitschko um drag downs when he holds the neck and tries to pull him down and this is so effective against um, smaller fighters but in this case he was fighting someone who was slightly bigger than him uh, in more ways than one so he, he really struggled throughout the fight to actually do this um, and in any event the referee immediately broke him up and the referee did this throughout the fight there was really no him fighting allowed for more than a second or two um, which other referees possibly would have let this continue, okay? And in one of the in in the the clinch, clinches in this round, we saw the headbutt that had leaded to the cut of Klitschko. So so the rest of the, the round was really just lots of feints, lots of holding, um, until a good punch by Fury, um, about two and a half uh, minutes in. But this was in retaliation to a Vladimir Klitschko punch um, that was it was an accurate punch. So again. How do you score this round? It's so close. So we then move into the sixth round, which I'm going to give to Fury. He started so confidently. You could see it in his face. Uh, they exchanged a number of... Um, they exchanged one or two uh, kind of light body punches. But then Fury uh, came in with a number uh, two or three very good hooks. And that's where I've given, given him the round. Uh, move to round seven. That's another Fury round. Um, where cl- early on in the round we saw the first instance of uh, Vladimir Klitschko really turning his back, kind of trying to get away and turning his back, um, and Fury almost punching him on the back and punching him in the back, uh, and it was that first example of that. Um, and we saw another pull down from Vladimir Klitschko, but it was a, one of the last ones to be perfectly honest, um, and. Uh, Fury got in a number of very good punches in this round, uh, but not that many. Just It was just that Vladimir Klitschko offered nothing. So this is a Fury round. 
but then when they when they got back to the corner, it was evident. I think there was possibly a shift, and you started to see uh, what was happening. Uh, and this was because Vladimir Klitschko looked like a beaten man. He looked like he'd he was beaten. He looked like he was beaten. Whereas Fury, wide eyed, wide eyed, and he was ready to go. He was buzzing, and he wanted to get out of that, get into the ring, and, and put on a show. Um, unfortunately, when we got into round eight, nothing happened apart from holding, holding, holding. And it was so frustrating to watch. Uh, without doubt, the worst round of, of the fight. And again, how you can possibly put that in, in to either one of them, I have no idea. No, no notable action, no notable damage. Um, it, it was just holding after holding after holding. Awful. And then we move into round nine. And which was a good, which was a, was possibly the most interesting round, and it started with two trademark uh, Vladimir Klitschko um, right hands. Uh, that were his two best punches of the fight. Uh, but then later on in the round, a bit of confusion from Klitschko uh, whilst he was moving about, and he and he ate a massive left hand, and uh, he, he he could have been stopped, but. Fury just didn't get on the gas. Neither of them did when they had the upper hand. Um, and then the rest of the fight was uh, was holding. And no real notable uh, punches. So h- how do you score that? How do you score that that round? We've got two good right hands from Klitschko and one massive left from Fury. I struggled again. Uh, so then we move into the 10th round. And this was just like the the eighth, nothing of any note whatsoever. Good luck if you can uh, give justification as to who won that round. So we're moving to the real, uh, the world championship uh, rounds. Uh, We've got round 11. And uh, there was a lot of of bouncing around, um, but but, but not, not, not a lot happening. There's a lot of holding, a lot of holding in this round again, as we've come to expect from the fight. However, there were two very good left hooks uh, from Fury, um, where you believe that this is where he wins this round. He wins this round, but then he got a point taken off uh, for the uh, the punching behind the head, and... um, a lot of people have said that it was stupid, it wasn't deserved, he shouldn't have got a point taken. But he, he was warned on a number of occasions. Yeah, Vladimir was moving about, he was shown in the back of the head, but he had the option not to not to finish the punch. Like you, you, There's a lot of uh, footage of uh, Vladimir in his fight where he's kind of semi-throwing a punch and then not following it through. Not following it through. Whereas this case... Tyson had the opportunity to not follow that through, and he followed it through, and he fully deserved the point, in my opinion. Um, so, so really, again, um, it really would have been a Tyson round, but he blew that round with uh, the points deduction. So, whilst uh, some of the rounds here have been like a kind of fifty-fifty, choose what you like sort of round, this is probably uh, an even round, and I think most people would probably agree with me on, on that. So we move into the last last round, and um, it, it, I know in, in the American broadcasts, which I watched the, the second time I watched the fight, uh, Roy Jones was 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 on the panel, and, and he came out and said that Vladimir Klitschko is not used to getting punched this much. Now, if, yeah, he 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 was he had eaten a number of punches, but had he really taken a lot of punches? I'm sure. I'm sure in in uh, fights where he won, he'd taken as many punches because there just wasn't that many. There was, there just wasn't enough punches. But but anyway, uh, th- this for me was a Vladimir Klitschko round. He he needed to go out and show what he was all about. He didn't really do enough, even in this round, which was his best round. Um, he had two trademark uh, Klitschko punches. Um, uh, Fury had a few, and there was one punch from. Uh, Vladimir, where he launched into Fury, and and, and he kind of semi wobbled him. It looked like he was he, he got it was better than it was, but Tyson kind of it he, he took it 
and he straight away moved on, um, really kind of unaffected. Um, but for me, it's a Vladimir Klitsch go round. Um, so that's the end of the fight, and the, the judges, the judges all went for our man Tyson Fury by by a number of rounds. Uh, whereas, see, on my card, I've gone basically three rounds to one uh, with nine, uh, sorry, with eight, eight that are really kind of undecided. Um, but I suppose on that basis, um, we're seeing the decisive rounds were from Fury, uh, so I have to go with him. Uh, but I remember watching it the first time. I wasn't convinced that he was going to get the decision for the reasons that I explained at the, the start of the show. Uh, about the the home judges and w- when a round is that close uh, you'd think that there are many judges that will probably edge it towards the home fighter and the world champion uh, but anyway we've got a new champion it's great to see that uh, it should open up the division somewhat but does Vladimir Klitschko deserve a rematch I think he probably does Primarily because he held the title for so long. He was such a dominant champion. He fought all the people that they put in front of him. And he dispatched them with, with ease in a, a lot of times. Um, so so I reckon a rematch would be an acceptable uh, move forward. And do I think that Vladimir Klitschko could win a rematch? I actually do think that he can win the rematch. Uh, will he win the rematch? Who knows? Tyson is going to take so much confidence from this that I think he's only going to get better. His performance in this fight was unorthodox. It was unpredictable. Um, He had a game plan that he worked out um, and he stuck to and he made it difficult for for Klitschko. Um, And I think that if he does that again, um, he could get the decision again. But for, for Klitschko... Klitschko is clever. He's a clever fighter. He has all the attributes um, to be a top fighter, and that's why he's been a top fighter. So can he beat Fury? Yes, he can. Um, I'm really looking forward to the rematch. I actually think it'll be a better fight, and I wouldn't be surprised if there is a stoppage in the rematch. That's what I think is going to be a stoppage in the rematch. Um, But we'll look forward to that. And we'll look forward to more heavyweight fights. So um, if you've enjoyed this show, uh, give us a like, um, subscribe to the channel, and we'll be bringing you more breakdowns in the future. Uh, So peace out.